Hey guys, this is Ben Funber, Hey Man Fishing. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you the basic gear you need trout fishing. If you're just starting out, this is really gonna help you. If you've been at it for a while, maybe you'll pick up a few things. Stay tuned. Okay, take it. Let's take a quick look at boots. Boots is gonna probably be one of your number one. Uh, items on your list that you need to spend a little bit of money on you want a good quality set of boots these happen to be uh, these uh, corkers uh, and they come with uh, felt bottoms and they also come with a rubber rubberized bottoms with grips here that just attach on the bottom I very rarely ever use these I found out on the rocks that's got algae on them uh, in the water you're going to slip and fall if you're not careful but these felt bottoms really uh you can stick to those rocks with these felt bottoms pretty good i very rarely ever slip in the water when i'm trout fishing with these uh felt bottoms so spend some money on some good quality boots this is a size larger than what i normally wear so when you buy your boots get a size larger because you need to accommodate a little bit of room in there if you're going to wear any thicker uh, socks in with your waders and also when you get when you got your socks on over those uh narrow frame uh waders the bottoms you know these are a little bit thicker i got some little thinner ones i use but in the winter time when i'm fishing i always like to put these uh hand hand warmers but they actually got foot warmers now it's a little bit longer but these can attach to your uh your socks uh, you, you, up under the while you're wearing them in these boots to keep your feet warm I, that's really helped me a lot uh during the winter time fishing for trout now okay your next big ticket item that you want to quality invest in is a set of good waders and uh your waders they're going to come with this narrow frame bottoms that you stick your foot in and then you're going to put this in your boot and that's why i say this is pretty thick and if you wear some socks inside here plus if you winter fishing and you want to put them uh foot warmers in there uh you know it can be a challenge if you're wearing your regular shoe size and trying to put all that in there so again you know get a size larger uh, uh on your boot but uh some of these waders uh they there's different brands different qualities um some come with reinforced uh, uh, uh fabric so you won't tear them but i found out that you know even the best waders they can get a hole in them and uh they can rip easily uh I've fallen in the water and in the process of falling, I've split them, uh, getting out of the water, I've split them, you know, hit, cutting it on the rock. And uh, these seams, if you get a hole in these seams down here, it's almost impossible to try to fix that. Once they start leaking, you just about got to uh, throw them away. I, in my opinion, there may, may, might be somebody out there that uh, knows a little bit more about fixing them than I do, but I, I've tried that, but it's just almost impossible once you get a hole and it's, it's near a thin uh, part of the, the foot here uh, to get it stop leaking. So yeah, uh, get you a good set of waders. Next thing item on here, if you're summer fishing, you know, the water temperature ain't that bad up in the mountains. Uh, I wear my boots because I like that grip on the bottom and I like to get I got these short pair of uh, uh, they got a little bit of a grip on the bottom but uh, I wear these little short nerofine uh, nerofine uh, socks with my boots and then I just wear a pair of shorts I found that to be very comfortable uh, while fishing okay next thing on your investment you should make is a good quality net now this one's rubberized it's much easier to get your fish out of there because the hooks if you use the uh nylon nets uh those hooks that you use usually get they get 
uh, stuck in the, that, that webbing and it's hard to get out, but I found that, you know, the rubber nets are so much easier uh, when you, uh, you know, getting your fish off and uh, uh, those hooks don't get caught up in that, that net. And then uh, most nets now I've seen come with magnets uh, and you just got, you get two magnets and what happens, you'll put, you'll put this uh, hook on the back, there's a loop on the back of your vest, so you attach it to that. And then as you need your net, you just pull it off to get, uh, retrieve your fish and then uh, overhand your net back to, uh, to the, your back and it just snaps on there. Okay, one other tip I give you here that would be beneficial. I used to keep just a regular three dollar uh, chain to put my fish on because I love to, I love to bring fish back to eat. Uh, and the place I fish is called it's, it's catching uh, keep. Um, but I do have uh, another net. I mean another uh, fish keeper uh, type. It's made with the paracord uh, and if the leader's a little bit longer, I can attach this to the back or to uh, the carabiner to my uh, vest and this here lay, lay in the water out of my way because uh, this, sometimes this here, the fish are hanging right there at my foot because it ain't long enough. Alright, you want to look at getting a good quality vest. I've had this one for a number of years. And basically what I carry on there is a pair of pliers and uh, I got some nail clippers. I always carry my sunscreen and then I got a box here with all my tackle in it like my spinners and my worms, uh, some small hooks and weights. And uh, I try to stay as light as possible, but uh, this, is, this has worked out good for me. Now if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna use crickets, get you one of these uh, cricket tubes. It's called a short, little small short cricket tube. And you can attach that to one of them carabiners uh, right in front of you if you're fishing crickets. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna probably do a show in June about live bait and how to use it, or at least how I use it, uh, crickets and night crawlers. Okay, when it comes to trout fishing, get your ultralight spinning outfit combo. You can buy them at Walmart for less than $40. Uh, you can get a little bit more expensive one with you know better rods and re uh, reels um, like at Cabela's for a hundred dollars but I got several of these uh, you want to get the ultralight you're gonna have a whole lot more fun with those fish with the ultralight outfits the ultralight spinning outfits uh, and like I got a, I got a spinner on here and I always put one of these uh, hook keepers made out of, it's made out of rubber. You just slide your hooks in there. So as I'm traveling, I ain't got to worry too much about a hook sticking me or getting caught on my vest or whatnot. Or even when I'm traveling from spot to spot, I put this in the back of my truck, slide it up in there with my other uh, rods and reels and uh, it's out of the way and won't get hung up. Okay guys, I hope that helps you a little bit uh, uh, overview for you guys that's seasoned and do a, that does a lot of trout fishing. Maybe you picked up something for you beginners. Just to give you some ideas what you might need to buy and invest in if you're going to get into the trout fishing. I hope it helps you. Uh, if you like this content, subscribe. I got plenty of videos ahead that I'm going to be making up in uh, Cherokee. Uh, next month, uh, I'm going up, we're going to hit some holes for, uh, we're going to be doing live bait fishing crickets and night crawlers and um, show you a little setup I do and some of the holes that I like to hit, the deep water holes that I like to go to to catch those trout. Uh, so until next time, God bless all of you. We'll see you later.